Three, two, one, sink or float. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Three, two, one. <gasps> you guys, do you guys see that? It's floating to the top. Princess toy review. Hi, Princess Edison. It's Princess T. Saying hi from behind a giant glass cake. Because today, we are doing a sink or float science experiment with these sodas right here. So if you guys want to do the science experiment at home, just find yourself a container. It doesn't have to be a fish tank. It could be like one of those giant storage containers that's clear. Or y'all could do like a smaller one and do the same experiment. So in front of me, I have this giant container. I have all these sodas. They're in different variations. We have Big Coke, but small Coke. But then we also have like the diet versions. And then we have like Dr. Pepper. And then we have random other sodas, big and small versions. We even have a water and one in a bottle. Okay, so do you guys know what the density of water is? If you do, leave a comment below to let me know. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you guess that the density of water is one grams per milliliters, you are correct! So the density of water is one grams per milliliter. And if when I drop an object in, it is less than that, it will but if it's more, it's gonna go to the bottom. Let's get started. So I'm going to go with, how about we go with hmm, these two. So I have a regular Coke and a Diet Coke. So let's do the regular Coke. Do you think this will sink or float? Leave a comment below to let me know. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one, sink or float. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It sinks to the bottom. Okay, so the density of this is more. So it sinks to the bottom. What about this diet one? Let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, you guys, do you guys see that? It's floating to the top. Next up, we have diet and regular Coke, but in the small size can. Okay, so the regular one, the big one of the regular sink to the bottom but then the big one of the diet float. So now we have the small one of the regular Coke. Let's see what happens. Let's drop it in here and is it sinking or floating? <gasps> Whoa, that's odd. It's floating. Huh, what about this one here? Sink or float, sink or float. Is it sinking or floating? <gasps> that totally floats. Okay, so we have those that float. Hmm, what about this here? Okay. So I have Dr. Pepper. So maybe I have a hypothesis. What if the big one of the regular sinks, but then the small one doesn't have enough sugar in it, so it floats? Let's test out the hypothesis. Okay, we're gonna put the Dr. Pepper regular big can in. Let's see here floating. What's going on? Okay, that seems to float. Ah! What about this one here? Okay, maybe Dr. Pepper just floats. Maybe Dr. Pepper floats. Okay, let's try with these and see. Okay, so this is diet. But you know what? Diet has like less sugar. So maybe these float because the density is less than water. Okay, let's see. Is that gonna float? Okay, that floats. What about this one over here? Okay, so my hypothesis is right. Maybe the diet soda floats in general. Do we have any more diet? Let's see. Mm, okay, this one's a diet and this one's a diet. So let's test our hypothesis. Maybe diet soda floats because the density is less than water, which is one gram per milliliter. Okay, we're putting in the diet ginger ale. Oh, that floats. What about this diet Pepsi, you guys? That floats too. Okay, so this is like a big can of regular Pepsi. So, if this is similar to the Coca-Cola, maybe it'll sink, because that Coca-Cola one's at the bottom. Let's see. <gasps> is it sinking or floating? It's making up his mind. What's going on? What's going on? It's like straight in the middle. I think it's floating, you guys. This is this Coca-Cola over here that's at the bottom. Moving 
on. So I think these are the smaller cans. So I think these will actually float because I don't think there's a lot of sugar in them for them to sink to the bottom. But let's try. So we have Sprite. Let's see what happens. Sink or float, sink or float. It's floating. What about this Canada Dry right here? Sink or float, sink or float. And last but not least, what about this root beer right here? Sink or float, sink or It's floating, you guys. So far, it's just this Coca-Cola can. Okay. Let's try water and Pepsi in a bottle. So, I have Pepsi in a bottle. Sink or float. It's kind of heavy, you guys. Let's see. Three, two, one. Whoa, that straight up floated to the top. Now, what about this water? Does water have the same density of this water, you guys? What do you guys think? I think this is going to float, but we'll see. Three, two, one. Oh, there it is. It's floating. This is very interesting. This experiment has got me curious. What about ketchup? My favorite thing in the whole world. Is it gonna sink or float? Sink or float? Leave a comment below. I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you leave a comment? Okay, good. And sink or float. Whoa. I went straight to the bottom, my ketchup right there at the bottom. Okay, friends and princesses, that's the end of today's science experiment. If you would like more science experiment, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends and princesses. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Hi, Prince and Princesses. It's Princess T. If you guys are wondering where Princess Fam is and how come it's just Princess T, Princess Fam just had a baby named Princess Zoe. We posted a video a few videos back, so make sure you watch that episode to meet Princess Zoe. Okay, so moving on with today's video, we are going to be doing a science experiment with vinegar and baking soda. This is a super fun experiment you can do at home with your parents. Okay, let's get started. First, we are going to need some baking soda, some vinegar, four empty bottles. Make sure you pull off the layers so you can kind of see the clear bottles here. And then we also have a funnel. We also have some kind of measuring spoon, some balloons, and some food. Okay, step one, add some vinegar. Ooh, that smells. So ask your parents to do this part. And we're gonna pour it inside this container here. This should be a good amount. Now I'm gonna do the rest. Ooh, remember, ask your parents to do this part because We need some food coloring. I got pink. Do one drop here. And we're gonna shake it up. All right, there we go, we got pink. Next up, my favorite color, teal or Tiffany blue. So do one drop there and shake, 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 shake. Whoa, look at that pretty color, I love it. So next up, we're gonna do yellow. This is a pretty color also. Come on, okay, we got yellow. Shake, 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 shake. Whoa, that's like magic. And we have purple. This is Princess Pam's favorite color. I miss Princess Pam. Make sure you give this video a big like if you miss her. She's gonna come back soon. And shake, shake, shake. Voila, we got purple. So, now we are going to take this balloon and this funnel here. We're going to open up this balloon and attach it to the funnel. Ask your parents for help. So we're gonna have it just like so. And then we are going to pour some baking soda into here. Um, you can put it in a spoon if you like, or you can just pour it directly. I'm 
one's gonna pour it directly. So we're gonna pour it just like so. And we're gonna shake, 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 shake so it could go in. Whoa, that was a workout and it smells, but I finally got baking soda into my balloon. So now we are just going to put this over, but I'm not going to like flip it yet. So it's over, but not flipped. So that way we could do it at the same time. So we got that one. We got a blue balloon here. I'm gonna do my purple one right here. Again, ask your parents for help. It's not flipped. So another one here. Okay, so there we go. And last but not least, we have this pretty pink one. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. All done. Okay, so we have all our balloons. Hmm, now which one should we try first? I'm gonna go with this green one. Okay, so make sure you hold right here and then dump the baking soda in. I'm gonna make some room. Okay, let's see what happens to the reaction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's, it's blowing up, it's blowing up. Oh my goodness, and it's kind of cold. Check out this reaction. Don't pop on me, don't pop on me. Calm down. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, relax, relax, balloon. Okay, I think it's done. Should I pull it out? Oh, a little bit more. Okay, 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 we got this. Okay, and. <laughs> it's not coming out, it's stuck. Oh wait, it calmed down. Okay, it's done. Check that out. Okay, that was a success. There was a reaction, it filled up the balloon. That was kind of scary. I honestly was really scared because that was the first time I ever did this in my whole life. And I didn't know what was gonna happen. So, now that we kind of know what's gonna happen, let's try this one. Let me just move this aside. Okay, and let's dump in. Whoa, this is so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, think. 
Okay, now we took out all the balloons. We need a funnel and a tray because this is gonna make quite a mess and baking soil. So now I'm just gonna pour it directly in here. What do you guys think will happen? Let's see, let's see. Whoa! What a mess. Do another one here. Come on, come on. I need more baking soda. Get in there, get in there. It's stuck in my funnel. It's stuck in my funnel. There you go. Here's a purple one. And I'm going to do this yellow one here. Whoa. And last but not least, we're going to do this red one here. Whoa. Check it out. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, friends and princesses, that's the end of today's video. If you would like more science experiment, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends and princesses. Bye.